The hearing to confirm John Brennan as head of the CIA got off to a rocky start. Activists protested against the U.S. drone program, which Brennan helped to create. Lawmakers, too, have been frustrated for years by the White House's secrecy about its policy of targeted killings, a policy President Obama's top counterterrorism advisor defended in the strongest terms. I think they really have a misunderstanding of what we do as a government and the care that we take and the agony that we go through to make sure that we do not have any collateral injuries or deaths. Earlier this week, a leaked Justice Department memo revealed the White House's legal justification for the killing of American citizen Anwar al Awaki in Yemen in 2011. Further memos were provided to members of Congress before the hearing, but concerns remain. It's the idea of giving any president unfettered power to kill an American without checks and balances that's so troubling. Every American has the right to know when their government believes it's allowed to kill them. It's not the first time Brennan has been a candidate to head up the CIA. He withdrew his name from consideration in 2009 after he was criticized for serving as a top official at the CIA when the agency used harsh interrogation techniques. I had expressed my personal objections and views to my uh, some agency colleagues about uh, certain of those EIT, such as waterboarding, nudity, and others, where I, I professed my personal objections to it, uh, but I did not try to stop it. Brennan is highly respected on Capitol Hill and is expected to win easy confirmation. But even as the agency's next director, he will still have to answer further questions about the drone program and the transparency of the CIA. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Capitol Hill.